I'm winning it. It's over. It, it, as far as I'm concerned, it's over. These two guys cannot win. There's no path. So why would I change? If Hillary Clinton were a man, I don't think she'd get 5% of the vote. The only thing she's got going is the woman's card. And the beautiful thing is women don't like her, OK? And look how well I did with women tonight, OK? We will unify our party to win this election and build an America where we can all rise together. An America where we lift each other up instead of tearing each other down. Well, Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton are marching towards their party's presidential nominations. The two front runners won big in the five primaries yesterday, but as CBS4's Brooke Silva Braga reports, their rivals are not giving up. After sweeping primary wins Tuesday, Donald Trump declared himself the presumptive GOP nominee, urging Ted Cruz and John Kasich to give up. As far as I'm concerned, it's over. These two guys cannot win. There's no path. The Republican frontrunner went five for five in Pennsylvania, Delaware, Maryland, Connecticut, and Rhode Island. A win next week in Indiana could make Trump unstoppable. Kasich won't campaign in the state, giving Cruz a one-on-one -on -one chance to stall Trump. Tonight, this campaign moves back to more favorable terrain. The billionaire candidate is already looking ahead to a general election matchup with Hillary Clinton. The only thing she's got going is the woman's card. And the beautiful thing is, women don't like her. The Democratic front runner welcomed the criticism during a victory speech in Philadelphia. If fighting for women's health care and paid family leave and equal pay is playing the woman card, then deal me in. Clinton is 90% of the way to securing the Democratic nomination after beating Bernie Sanders in four states yesterday. Despite picking up just one win in Rhode Island, the Vermont senator vowed to campaign until the convention. This campaign is not just about electing a president. It is about transforming our nation. Sanders would need landslide wins in virtually every remaining state to catch Clinton. Brooke Silva Braga for CBS News, New York.